Hi guys, welcome back to another video with me. My name is Cotton Candy Ma. If you're new here, welcome. Welcome all. Hi. This is a shifting video. So I decided to take a break from the My Hero Academia universe and to come to... Okay, so don't judge me. I wanted to see my old crush, Joseph Joestar. Even though I know Joseph's a playboy, um, I still wanted to go see him because I feel like that would make me feel better about my situation. And also, I kind of feel like Toshinori won't really be mad because I'm going to tell him about this. I feel like I should because, um, you know, you included a third person and you kind of didn't warn me first. So I kind of want to like scare him just a little bit. <laughs> so I figured go there. We'll talk to Joseph Joestar. Um, and my idea was to go to that fancy restaurant. You know, the one that Smokey almost got kicked out of. And Joseph had to beat up the other guy for talking about him because of him being black and all. Um, so back in the day, like, I guess black people weren't accepted in those type of restaurants, especially fancy restaurants like that, because that's just the way it was back then. I do have an opinion on race and all that stuff because it comes from something very old. A lot of people think that this is something new or this isn't new. It comes from something ancient, very old. I have my opinion about that and I'll talk about that later maybe, or maybe not. <laughs> There's just so much I have to say about it. So I kind of just leave that, I'm gonna leave that. But I figured just dress up like one of them in the restaurants, try to dress a little bit fancy. So I got my costume jewelry and you know, I got my bow so I can look fancy, I can walk in and I can basically fit in as one of the people and pretend to just be sitting there. Hopefully no one like, hopefully I don't stand out too much. I feel like it wouldn't really be that easy to hide myself because of I'm a lot darker than all, you know, it's the same thing as Smokey. So, I mean, I will be dealing with maybe the same situation, but I'm willing to take the risk. And if I get kicked out, I get kicked out. <laughs> so I wanted to see what happened when I went there. And um, my main goal was just to watch Joseph Joe Star from like a distance. I just wanted to see him from like, you know, I wasn't going to say anything. I was going to like glance over at him and maybe smile and that's it and just you know, order, uh, order my meal or whatever. So then like, I shifted to the restaurant. So I had success there. I managed to shift there and I go inside of the restaurant and I don't see any sign of Joseph Joe star or any of the people from like the scene. There's specific people I looked for for that main scene with Smokey, like, but um, I couldn't find the fat guy with the locket, the one who was insulting him. I was hoping that maybe if I did at least make eyes with him, he would have something maybe dirty to say to me or bad. And then Joseph would look over at him and like threaten him too for talking to a woman that way, a woman of my stature. And so um, when I shifted there, there was nothing like that happened. There was actually a waiter. He came over and started talking to me. And so, I was like, will you excuse me? I got up and went to the bathroom. When I opened the bathroom door, I stepped inside and <sighs> this is why I only shift to the My Hero Academia universe. There's a reason, okay? I walk in and I try to turn around and leave out immediately because I know where I am and it's not where I want to be, okay? I see a ball of Hammond, like floating in in there, you know, it's floating and, um, but it's in like a bubble, just like in the scene. Then there was blood on the floor and there were stairs leading up to wherever Dio was because I ended up in Dio's castle. I was in Dio's castle and I know what happened. So apparently Caesar just died. And his ball of hammer was floating there. And I was just, I must have arrived right after it happened. I can't get out. The door is locked. I can't get out of the dang castle. So I turn around and I start walking. And part of me wants to just hide. I know that I'm being watched. I know that there's a chance I'm going to get seen. And so, like, I feel like things are moving further away from me, which is a weird, you know, kind of sign. I don't really know what to expect. So I started walking toward the stairs a little bit and I stopped at the stairs and I just looked up and I didn't see anything. 
And then, so like my, my mouth felt kind of funny. It felt weird. And then when I put my fingers in there, I found out that I had fangs. So apparently now I'm a vampire too. Like how did, when did I become a vampire all of a sudden? So I'm a vampire. I'm standing there. I'm just standing at the stairs. Um, the whole time I'm calling my guy, like, please come get me. Please like take me away from here. He didn't come. He's not coming. And like, so I'm like standing there and I'm just thinking, okay, you know, maybe I can. I'm like looking around. Um, so here I have. The, the thing I'm grateful for is that I have this state of mind to know that I don't belong there. But I, I feel like it would be better if I didn't, because then I could just go along with everything and not be, like, afraid. But I knew this isn't where I wanted to be. And I prepared immensely for this. I did a lot of things to prepare to be able to shift there the correct way and end up in the right spot. End up in the right spot, just not at the right time. In fact, it was probably been months since he's been to that dang restaurant, you know? If I'm at this part where, anyway, so I put my hand on the top of the, this uh, staircase on the stair rail, I put my hand there and I'm like, and I slowly like start to like walk up the stairs, probably a really bad decision, but I kind of don't want to go backwards because if you guys have seen JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, then you know what's lurking there. And I also know who's upstairs, but I'm a vampire, so I feel like I should be able to get away with something. Or I, or I can, like, find a window, and maybe I can just, like, bust through the window, and I can just leave. <sighs> I take one step, and I hear, who are you? So I turn, I, like, I turn around slowly, and, but I don't turn all the way around. I turn, like, part way, because I already know who's talking to me is Theo. And he's like, so, he goes, I'm talking to you. Are you not going to say anything? And I'm like, I was like, oh, I was just, um, I was just scouting the castle. And he's like frowning at me. He's like, why do you look? Like, he looked at me, and then he, like, paused. Like, I, I felt like he was going to say something offensive because of, you know, there aren't people like me, like, around during that time that much. And then he goes, I don't remember you. And I'm like, I'm one of yours, you know. And the thing is, like, Theo has so many, like, vampire fellows or followers. I mean, I feel like it shouldn't matter, right? He shouldn't be, like, point, pinpointing me out of everyone. And guys, I'm, like, so scared. I'm about to, like, pee myself. I'm, like, literally, like, and I'm, I'm trying to hold this together. Like, why all of a sudden do you have to pee when something bad happens? Like, so sitting there, like, kind of, like, cross leg and stuff. And he's, like, what's wrong with you? I'm, like, nothing. And he's, like, um, I don't remember, I don't remember biting you. I'm, like, yeah. I, I was, like, you, I was, like, yeah, you did. And I did this. And he was, like, where? And I was, like, um. Yeah, you bit me. You don't, I was like, you don't remember our, our night. You bit me on my thigh. And I was like, <laughs> and then like this laugh. And it, I, I'm hoping the laugh sounds believable. I actually, I feel like it sounds like more nervous and scared than anything. And my voice is kind of shaky. And he's like, I did. And I'm like, yeah, you did right here. And I kind of put my hand in my leg. Just because if I tell him it's under my leg, he's not going to try and like lift my dress up, right? By the way, I had a black dress on. I don't know why I ended up with a black dress on. It didn't start out that way, okay? I basically had on, like, this attire. This is, like, a shirt, but it basically it changed into, like, a dress, okay? <laughs> so it was, like, a white dress that I had a belt on around it. I was looking fancy and sophisticated. And then this crap happens, and my, and my dress turns, like, black. He's like, I'm curious. And he takes his hand, and he puts it, like, at the bottom of my dress. He starts lifting it a little bit. And I kind of step back. He goes, what? And I'm like, nothing. And I'm hoping that there's, maybe there's teeth marks there now that I mentioned them. Because I know that when you go to your DR, you can say stuff and it'll happen. But my guy came and just, like, snatched me from there before he could do anything. And I feel like when I got back here, I was still, like, shaking. And I still had to go to the bathroom. I was lucky I was able to like hold my bladder as long as I did. 
I feel like it was gonna like explode thin in there. I really feel like I was gonna pee my pants. Like I was gonna like pee all over. And he would have really been like, what the hell <laughs> or something. I don't know. Like he's not that he's not no. Leo, no. Like, no, no, no. That's like the last person I wanted to see. And so that would that's what ended up happening. I ended up going there and I kind of want to run over to Twitch and just hug him and just like let him like embrace me with his hug and I am going to tell him what happened so when I go back there if you guys watched my last video you guys know what happened between me and <laughs> that's right I said I wouldn't spoil anything well I mean I feel like that's not a spoiler because it's already happened but at the same time I know that they probably won't be happy to hear it, but I'm not going to keep any secrets. I'm sorry. We're, we're not open. If this is going to be an open relationship, then I'm going to be open and tell them what happened to me openly. I could have been killed. What if he had to decide it? You know what? No, you're not one of mine. Or if I made you one of mine, I feel like that I shouldn't have one of uh, a vampire that, that looks like you, or I shouldn't have one that has pink hair slash just kill me or whatever, just chop my head off or something. Like, it is not good. Like, I made a huge mistake trying to go there. And the worst part is I didn't get to see Joe Star. Like, I didn't get to see Joe, Joe Star. What the heck? He was my crush from back in the day. Um, now I'm with Tojinori, so. He, I'm feeling fulfilled with that. I'm happy with him. I'm, I'm happy with Toshinori, my love. I wasn't cheating. I was just going to go get a look at him. So, you know, don't say, like, that was wrong of you. But, like, I did learn my lesson. I don't know. Like, I didn't think I would end up somewhere scary. You know? No one knows I'm going to end up somewhere like that. And everyone else, they can, like, shift and go to, like, wherever they want to go and stuff. Like, I should be able to do the same thing. Like, just have so much trouble with it all the time. But I don't get it. Anyway, um, yeah, so this video, yeah, was kind of bizarre, right? And, you know, I'm dressed differently than normal. I, I had to fit the restaurant standards, regardless of what they think, you know. It doesn't matter how much jewelry you put on. When you're seen as, like, garbage or trash, it doesn't matter to them. You still gotta look trashy. <laughs> so, I tried. Anyway, um, I hope you guys like my video. <laughs> If you did, give it a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down if you want. Um, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ding! That way you're notified when other videos become available. And um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!